think the foundation of any captive feasibility study would first of all be studying the retentions um, for different risk areas of a client, making sure that they're really not buying insurance for risks where it would make more sense to retain the risk. I think the second question then is once the retentions have been established, deciding whether a captive uh, is the best way to fund or finance uh, those retentions versus a, say, a loss-sensitive and deductible or a retro or some other kind of uh, way to retain risk. Uh, typically, pro forma financials should be part of a feasibility study where a client looks at the expected results, say, for five years, and all of the operating expenses of a captive are defined. Uh, we also recommend um, showing adverse loss scenarios so a client kind of see what happens if they have unexpected losses in year one or year three on top of that. Uh, you really can't ignore taxes, um, so I think uh, understanding the tax impact of having a captive, not only federal income tax, but looking at premium tax or state income tax needs to be factored into the analysis as well. Another factor to consider as part of a feasibility study is really the domicile. Uh, studying different domiciles and comparing not only the hard cost differences, but some of the qualitative factors, uh, because there's so many domicile choices now, it's really important to look at it objectively and determine really the, the optimal place to set up and operate the captive. So I'd say those are the key factors that should be considered in a feasibility study.